this idea of revolutions in military affairs, and they're typically attributed to technology. Control will definitely be very important in any conflict between Taiwan and China. This may be the moment where war really does become something else. Wars. From the ancient clashes of empires in the fields of Marathon and Guagamela to the colossal First and Second World War that shaped the 20th century. Human history is a mosaic of conflict. Each war, from the prolonged sieges of the Middle Ages to the swift technological warfare of modern times, reflects the evolving face of human ambition, desperation, and the enduring quest for peace. These conflicts, marked by heroic stands and tragic losses, have forever altered the course of nations and the tapestry of world peace. Men like Leonidas and his 300 Spartans at Thermopylae have epitomized the valor and sacrifice of soldiers. Their stories, alongside countless others, underline a perpetual endeavor to minimize battlefield casualties through evolving tactics and conventions. From the invention of the armor and the shield, this historic journey towards reducing the loss of life has peaked in the development of military robots, marking a pivotal shift towards safeguarding human lives by delegating risk to machines. A real testament to humanity's relentless pursuit of preserving life even in the theater of war. The concept of humanoid robots, especially for military applications, has evolved significantly over the past few decades. The first notable steps toward the creation of such robots were primarily research-driven, with institutions like MIT and companies like Boston Dynamics at the forefront. Boston Dynamics, an American engineering and robotics design company, has been a leader in the field. Founded in 1992 as a spin-off from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, the company began by focusing on creating robots that could mimic the mobility of humans and animals which led to the development of prototypes that could navigate through rough terrain and perform complex tasks, which mirror that of an infantry soldier. But how good are they beyond the grounds of MIT and the workshops of Boston Dynamics? What are they capable of in the battlefield? Unmanned aerial vehicles, once the eyes in the skies, now deliver critical data at light speed with precision, unfazed by the chaos of conflict below. Their decisions, dictated by algorithms, are made in split seconds, marrying logic with the lightning quick reflexes, a fusion that's reshaping strategic thinking on the go, faster than any infantry soldier could ever imagine. Grounded, yet agile, these mechanical warriors navigate treacherous terrains, carrying the weight of logistics that would burden any soldier. With sensors that see beyond the spectrum of human eyes, and artificial intelligence that learns from every encounter, they're becoming the ultimate soldiers and formidable foes. Able to communicate intel with the command center in real time and aid in quicker decision making and gathering of intel alongside being the perfect medic for any squad if paired with a human. They're not only improved soldiers, but are capable of multitasking far more than any human can. So, we set the sun on the fields of yesteryear's battles. It's clear. The super soldiers of today aren't bound by flesh and blood. They're the synthesis of human ingenuity and the relentless march of technology a force multiplying presence that's as awe-inspiring as it is undeniable. We find ourselves at the core of a profound question. In a head-to-head -head matchup of robot versus human, who would be victorious? This isn't any ordinary comparison of strength or speed. It's an examination on efficiency and superiority across multiple dimensions of combat capability. As we move from the development of military robots to performance in the field, we're compelled to ask, who is better? The tireless machine or the indomitable human spirit? Let's break it down. In terms of raw strength and endurance, robots possess an undeniable edge. They can carry heavy loads and sustain activity far beyond the human limit, with mechanical muscles that never tire. Agility and speed, once the domain of an elite athlete, to now being matched and even surpassed by robots designed for rapid maneuverability and swift response. Sensory capabilities? Robots are equipped with a suite of sensors that can detect more than the human eye can see, eyes can hear, or hands can feel. 
Their world is a matrix of data, instantly analyzed and acted upon. Strategically, the supercomputer brains of robots calculate probabilities and outcomes at a pace that would leave even the most experienced technician in the dust. But what of intuition, experience, moral judgment? Here, the human soldier stands unmatched. For all their processing power, robots lack the capacity for ethical reasoning, empathy, and the split-second gut decisions that have turned the tides of history. And this is the most important section, because this makes or breaks a soldier. As we assess the capabilities of both, it's clear. The robot may take the day in a test of endurance or trial of sensors, yet in the realms of reason, humanity, and the chaotic dance of war where every variable matters, the soldier wins. In this intricate ballet of abilities, the conclusion isn't about a clear victor, but an acknowledgement of strengths. The efficiency of robots is calculated. Repetitive tasks is unparalleled, yet humans carry the day with adaptability and moral foresight. Together, they form a potent force, each complementing the other's prowess. Within the vast expanses of defense strategy, how many robots have been commissioned into service? And what role do they take in the military's future? These mechanical battalions are not conscripts of conquest, but allies in efficiency. They drive logistics, scout perilous paths, and brave the maw of disaster zones, executing missions with a precision that conserves the most precious resource, human life. From research labs to the front lines, the numbers of military robots are great. They stand not in hundreds, but in thousands, their numbers growing with each technological leap. Each unit, a marvel of modern engineering, ready to serve in the world's most challenging fields. But can they replace a soldier? The answer is a complex tapestry, woven with threads of capability and human essence. Robots excel in tasks deemed too dangerous, too repetitive, or too enduring for the humans. Yet, within the power of human soldiers burns the flame of leadership, the spark of innovation, and the unpredictable prowess of the human heart. Qualities no robot can emulate. As we peer into the horizon, what unfolds is not a tale of replacement, but a tale of reinforcement. The military of the future is an orchestra of man and machine, each playing a critical role in the symphony of strategy and survival. The future holds a military where robots amplify human capabilities, where their synergy of man and machine crafts a new doctrine of defense. One that honors the valor of the soldiers while embracing the steadfast support of robotics. And hey, if you enjoyed this video, you would probably enjoy our video about AI destroying humanity. Also, don't forget to like and share this video.